love it out here. Yeah. We used to come out here all the time on picnics. Yeah. You should have brought some sandwiches. Ah, more cowboy hunters. Oh, what kind of grief we're going to be in for this year? I reckon they'll be okay. Ah, I'd like to look at that one. No, his bark's probably worse than his bite. Don't worry about him. Not all hunters are madmen, you know. No, don't start that again. All I'm saying is you've got to... Don't start. <laughs> Give him a burst. What for? I'll just do us a favour. <coughs> just stay there, sir. Step out of the car, please, miss. Molly. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Boss, this is my girlfriend, Molly. It's a senior sergeant, Croydon. Oh. All the way from Swift's Creek, eh? Yes, that's right, with Craig. My cousin, yeah, he's over Here at the pub fixing up some rooms. I knew he was coming to get but some honey. But I thought I'd surprise him. Welcome me over with a feather. It's nice to have you. Oh, this is PJ. Hey, hey. so this is the famous Let's Molly. See. Famous. Hi, I'm Robin. Yeah, okay. Hi. Look, you try and stay calm. Hi. Ben, it's over here. Do you, do you want to sit down? Yeah. Okay, bye. There was some bloke on a mobile. There's some sort of standoff between some hunters and a farmer. They've got guns in the vehicle, but no one's pointing them at anyone. Lawson, Lawson, you and McKinley are on deer patrol. Do you want to take that? Where is this? You that one clip past go. the Bo Yang fire track, a bloke named Morse. Oh, if there are guns involved, take extra care. It only yeah, takes one actually, maniac. You better take vests. Don't worry, mate. I'll look after Molly. I finish at three. Three. Yeah, I'll meet you at the pub, all right? Okay. Bye. Come on, mate. All right. Go, go, go. See you, darling. <laughs> Just move, move the my bloody car, mate. Just keep moving. Move it, move it. Get out of the shit. Go ahead. Come the engine off, please. Thank you. These crazies shot one of my deer. What deer? Why would we shoot your deer? Because you're not good enough to shoot a deer. Just look at your weapons, please, sir. And your shooter's licenses, please. One, two, seven, oh, this one's been fired. Yeah, we took a few pot shots. The licenses are in order. Do you have any other weapons? No, that's it. Who belongs to this? It's a prohibited weapon, sir. I'm afraid I'll have to ask you to come down to Mount Thomas Police Station for a few words. So, Mr. Morse, I understand that you farm deer. That's right. And you claim that one of your deers has been shot, yeah? How many head do you run? About 200. My husband and I thought about going into deer. Yeah. Did you actually see anyone shoot you, dear? No, but I heard the shots. Oh, how many? Didn't pay that much attention. Two, three, maybe. But when I went down there, you could see they'd been in. Then I did a count. There should have been 35 in that paddock. There were 34. And why do you think these hunters shot you, dear? Because I saw them driving off. That's why I went looking for them. Well, it was funny. There, were, there was no sign of a carcass in their vehicle. There's a lot of state forest out there. They could have dumped it anywhere. Wouldn't you think they'd keep the carcass if they shot it? At least as a trophy, if not to eat. Well, some people just like firing off guns, I guess. All right, Mr. Morse, we'll come out and have a look. Mr. Plansky, you may be charged with possession of a .30 semi-automatic rifle, which is an illegal Category D weapon, and we're going to seize a gun. So when do I get it back? You don't. Great. You may receive a summons to appear in court at a later date. So I can still go hunting? If it was up to me, no. Unfortunately, we can't take away your licence. Good. But the firearms registrar still might. Hey, you weren't seriously going to use that bloody thing on deer, were you? It's a sport, not a slaughter. So how do you identify them? The G.I. Joe outfits and the silly hats. Oh, no, sir, I was talking about the deer. The plastic tags. 
in the ear. And do you have any particular tag that you use? They're pretty standard. I got a couple of these from a different breeder, though. They had red tags in. I didn't bother changing them. That's part of the reason I noticed one gone. And how large are the paddocks? Two and a half acres each and one three-acre one over the back there. And you said that you've got 35 deer in here. That's right. And this is where you uh, saw the hunters? Yeah, they come in across the paddocks here sometimes. They use the right of way between you and your neighbour? That's right. They park down the track a bit. And whose land is that over there? O'Connell's. Morse? He would know how many animals he's got on his farm. He reckons about 35. Ah, on what day? What are you driving at, Alfie? Well, I found two on me clover in the past month. What did you do about it? Well, what do you reckon? I took them back to McCorse. I mean, what can I do with bloody reindeer? So there's a fencing problem? Yeah, there's a fencing problem. <laughs> Some farmer knows bugger all about fences. Comes up here about three times a week. You know what? I reckon he's one of them fancy travel agents or something. So how do you go with hunters? Ah, uh, chased one of them off yesterday. <laughs> Come up here, he did. Took one look at us and ran. Didn't he, Ralph? Well, can you describe him? Yeah, I can describe his hat. It was one of them stupid Confederate Army ones. You know, the Yankee ones? With the peak? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that's all about. What do you reckon the connection is? Uh, what connection, sir? Well, with the hunting, you know, and the American Civil War. Albie? Yeah? You got a gun? Two seven oh. No, I've got a three oh three. I use it for putting the animals down. And it's got a license. Hasn't it, Ralph? Point two seven oh. Same caliber as Plansky's legal gun. Very common among deer hunters. Well, ballistics will tell us if it's from the same weapon. O'Connell's description certainly sounds like Plansky boss. Look, even if this did come from his rifle. It doesn't prove he shot a deer. Forensics are going to need the carcass for that. If there is a carcass, there's a question. Well, Albie reckons Morse wouldn't know if he'd lost an animal or not. I think Albie's right about Morse being a two-rack cowboy. How's that? Well, Jeff and I did some research into deer farming. You should keep about six head per acre. I mean, he has more than double that. So what are you thinking? Well, I think he wouldn't know if he lost an animal or not. PJ, do you mind if I follow up on the carcass search? Mine? I'd pay to do it. Got other things to do with my time. Three o'clock's a long way off yet, mate. Nothing like a bit of anticipation, though. You guys have got the wrong idea. Oh, yes, you're much happier if everybody just took their guns and went home. But you better get those off the ballistics anyway. Hey, what are they, PJ? Ah, I warned you, Jack. Don't get me started. I grew up around guns, that's all. Well, there's nothing wrong with guns as long as they're handled safely. Yeah, I grew up on a farm too. Doesn't mean I go around killing innocent animals. Yeah, but you eat them. You know, Jacko, you should forget this hunting stuff. And... Take more somewhere really nice. I know what I'd rather be doing if I was you. No, you, well, look, I know you haven't got a lot of dough, so I reckon you should go up to the old weir. Now, you know where that is? No. All right. Well, it's a very beautiful place. It's secluded. It's been a bit of time up there, have we, PJ? No, I'm just saying it's a beautiful hey, place. Hey, drop that gun! Put it down! Put it down now! Put it on the counter! Now! It's okay, it's okay! It's my cousin. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, he's my cousin. What? Craig. Honest, oh, mate. Never, ever bring a rifle into a police station like that. You put it in a bloody case, all right? Sorry, I was just bringing it in for yeah. Jack. You oh. might have warned us, Lawson, all the way from Swiss Creek. Mate. Sorry, yours. I believe. Yeah, sorry. I you might want to Not get there. Lock it up. Yeah, OK, oh, OK. Sorry, didn't know he was coming in, right? Well, that was pretty exciting, eh? What a welcome. Yeah, exciting as a car crash. And two lemon squashes. Thank you. Right. So, where's the real meat? Pardon? Well, all he got is cow, pig, sheep and chook. I mean, where's the game? Venison. Hmm? <laughs> There's not usually much call for it. Oh, weird order, wouldn't we, eh, fellas? I sure would. I love your hair. Oh. Is that your natural Let color? Let cough! You are right? Yeah. So, Dash, are you going to go out with me? No. Shut up, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're alone. He's all right. See? But you'll have to be quick because I'm only here for a couple of days. Yeah, mate, I was going to talk to you about the old hunting trip. What about it? Uh, I was wondering if we could do it another time. I wouldn't mind spending a bit of time with guacamole. Yeah, they've hardly seen one another. You want to drag him away? OK. Whatever you want, mate. I'll go if you want to. I don't mind. No, I'd rather spend time with you. You would? Yeah. Come along, then. Well? I don't think so. <laughs> we could spend time together. She doesn't want to go hunting. No, that's OK. All right, I'll come. She wants to go hunting. And you could come too. 
Ah, uh, actually, I'd rather bash my head against a brick wall. Thanks. Uh, young love. No, it's good to see. It's nice to see him smiling again too. Just think it's the hormones, but. Oh, you're such a silly cash. I'm just play darts, will you? Dash, don't you want a man who can drag home a big piece of wild meat for you? Craig, I think that we're looking for something a little more subtle these days, don't you think, Molly? Excuse me. Get your hands off hey, me. Hey, hey, apologise to her. What's it to you, mate? She's my girlfriend. I told you to apologise to her. Now, Your girlfriend? To yes. I wouldn't have thought you had it in you. I bet you she's a real little guy. Hey, 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 you all right? Yeah. Okay. I think maybe you should call it a night too. I'd like to see you in the morning before you go off on your trip, please. Yes, boss. Change my mind. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. And you're all I ever think about. Good. I just there's something about the thought of us finally getting into bed when the day we could take off our wedding clothes. You don't want me. God, yeah, always. Always. If you'd hit him, you'd be on charges this morning and as a probationary constable, if they'd been proven, and they most certainly would have been, considering it chose the most public place in town to do it, you'd be out on your ear. Yeah, yeah sorry, boss. I'm not interested in sorry. Sorry's not going to help you. I want an explanation. Well, he had to go at Molly. So you decided to take a swing at him. That's your solution to this sort of problem, is it? No, it just got to me. Lots of people are going to get to you, son. It's not that I don't sympathise. I just can't condone that sort of behaviour, no matter what the provocation. Understand? Yes. Yes, boss. Now, what can we do for you, sir? I've killed Ralph. Who's Ralph? <laughs> Me dog! Bastards. All right, OK. Um, well, can I just have your name then, please? No, Ben, it's all right, mate. I know who this is. It's Albie. She's right. What's I've up, I've killed Al? Ralph. Who? Oh, no, that's the Hunters. Who do you think I mean? All right. Well, so... How? They run him over. He says you can see the tire tracks where they came in, straight through the fence, apparently. But did he see the people? No. So how does he know it was the hunters? That's just his guess. He was a lovely old dog. I know he was a lovely old dog, but we can't just rush out there and charge people on Albie's say-so. Are you sending somebody out? Yeah. Oh, excuse me, boss. A farmer's here, a Mr Morse. He says his stag has been shot or stolen. That's my stud stag. That represents a major investment. All right, Mr Morse, let's just take this one step at a time, shall yeah. we? Well, they killed my dog, Tom. Albie. Excuse me? I think we're talking about something a little more important than a dog here. This is a $25,000 beast. Now, don't talk to me about $25,000. That dog was priceless. You couldn't put a figure on him. Now, when are you going to arrest him, Tom? This is not getting us anywhere. We don't know who is responsible until we have a look at the place. What, are you blind or something? They came in straight across his property. You can see the tracks right up to yes, my face. We, we don't know whose that. tracks they are until we investigate, OK? So let's not jump to conclusions. Yeah, well, you wouldn't jump, would you, Hey, That's just your problem. I want some action on this. Yeah, no. We will send somebody out. Why don't you just bring in those hunters? We will talk to them if we think it's appropriate. Well, I'll be doing some talking, Tom. Albie, 
You came to us, now let us do our job. How old was he? About ten. Who would do a thing like that? Bastards. Sorry. I'm not twisting your arm, mate, honest. If you want to stay with Molly, that's cool. He wants to go, don't you, Jack? I wanted to go, but now you're here, doesn't it? Don't worry about it. I'll get Dash to show me around the exciting Mount Thomas. Will you, Jack? Jack, go. You love hunting, you know you do. Look, I'll take care of Molly, I'll show her around. You sure you wouldn't mind? Positive. OK, we'll go, but we'll be back soon, won't we? Yeah, you're the boss. It's OK, really. Just that now you're here, hunting doesn't seem like much fun. We'll have plenty of time together. I budged you a new trip anyway. You don't hear me complaining. Honestly, I'm not feeling that great, so you go and have fun, and I'll be fine by the time you get back. Well, you blokes reckon you can just go around killing other people's dogs, do you? I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Yeah, steady on, Johnny. You, look, mate, we don't know anything about your dog, OK? Yeah, you don't know nothing about nothing. That dog was my best mate. You should get yourself some real mates then, shouldn't you? Oh, oh. Albie! Oh, run, you won't sport. Albie, back to your stool now. Come on, now. I'll remember you. What's with him? He's upset. His dog got killed. Now, what can I get you? Uh, are we eating? Yeah, yeah. I can get that venison in for you tomorrow night if you're still interested. Yeah, we're interested. So, yeah. three on or what? Yeah, OK. Are yeah, you sure? Yes, you sure. Is <laughs> there a prize for looking like this? What? Oh, the deer won't let him shoot you if you're know, dressed like that. Hey, you got a hunting permit? Who's asking? Victoria Police, son. Yeah? Prove it. Ooh, big man. <laughs> I'll see. All right. Thought we'd head up the uh, old Willie's track to the hut at Mount Horn. So you're going to stay overnight? Yeah. Back lunchtime tomorrow. Mm. Are you on first crack, mate? No way, mate. Your trip in your bag. You'll see the guys at work if I come back with a big buck. Reckon Dash should string you up? Yeah, probably. You tie me up any time. Mate, she'd have you for breakfast. Even better. Don't shoot! Oh, you bloody moron! We nearly got you! It would look pretty bloody silly stuck in the back of a ute. You could have killed me. Oh, but would you have noticed? You ought to watch your mouth, mate. Just count yourself lucky you've got your copper friend with you. You should think yourself lucky you haven't got a bullet through your head. Oh, that's assuming you can shoot. Wouldn't have mattered uh -huh. if he couldn't. You're at point blank, numbnuts. Yeah, well, I'm heading over the rise. Seems to be a health hazard hunting around yeah, here. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, right. Well, we'll hunt down around that way. Yeah, so you're coming in for the venison tomorrow night? What is this, Sherwood Forums? Tom, are you interested or not? Yes, I might be. Nice girl, by the way. Hmm? Yes, yes, yes. They breed them up pretty well down there, don't they? Yeah, they seem to. Thank you. Oh, listen, whereabouts do you, uh, where do you get your deer meat? From Broads and St David's. He's the only one that carries it around here. Oh, thanks. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, boss, you know, you know, Molly's been telling us about the laws. Did you know that Jack is a fourth generation Swift Creek? You don't say. Yeah. It's the first yeah. one to get out. Well, you make it sound like a jail. I miss you guys, you know. <laughs> Remember that time we all went down the swimming hole? <laughs> It was you and me and Donnie and Cheryl <laughs> Cooper. Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> well, Dad's ought to go in the nutty. And Molly had a gear off and was swinging from the ropes doing Tarzan calls before I'd even had my boots off. <laughs> She's a pretty great Sheila, man. Yeah, isn't she? <laughs> You're a bit quiet. Mm. All right, who is she and what'd you do to her? What? Well, you're only quiet for two reasons. You're either stuffing your face or there's a girl. Which is it? It's a girl. Ah, I knew it. So who is she? It's Molly. And what about Molly? We are. We were drunk. 
It was just the one no, time. No, it didn't mean anything, honest. Look, it just happened. She loves you. No! She loves you, mate. Hey, well, what are you doing? Jack! Jack, shut up! Did you come in? What are you doing back? Where's Craig? I don't know. Jack, what's going on? You tell me. He told you. He shouldn't have had to. I know. I, w I wanted to. I mean, I didn't want to. That's why I came. And I, I tried, Jack. I, I just couldn't. Why, Mole? I don't know. I, I was lonely and I was missing you and we'd had too much to drink. I'm so sorry. Why couldn't you have waited? Why? I waited. Please, Jack. No. I've really... I've got to go. I've got to get some air. We don't have any leads on the stag yet, but the investigation is continuing. And we'll this is my livelihood. Have you questioned those hunters? Uh, yes, um, they denied all knowledge. Mr. Morse, uh, do you uh, do you supply deer to the commercial butchers over in St. David's? No, my animals go straight to the city. Any idea who does? You think he might have got my stag? <laughs> no, no, I'm not suggesting that. No idea. No. Mr. Morse, I assure you, we are following every possible lead. Now, if there's nothing else. I don't know how that guy stays in business. He really doesn't have a clue. Can we just deal with the evidence? Well, that's just it. What evidence? I mean, we don't have a carcass, we don't have anything except a report from Morse, and he's not even sure how many head he's running. He's a city slicker just playing at us. Not like you, huh? Hey, I'll have you know I've done my homework. And besides, I'm a country city slicker now. Tom, I've just been speaking to Molly at the pub. I really think you need to have a chat with her. What's it got to do with me? Well, Craig hasn't come back and I really think something's up. He was cleaning his gun. Molly, they'd been hunting. S something's happened to Craig, I know oh, it. Right, don't let your imagination run away with you. You don't know Jack, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Well, the important thing is to talk to him. He went for a ride, you say? Yeah, I think so. Did he say where? Yeah, no. It looks I like Lawson's had a falling out with his cousin over the girl or something. Anyway, the, the cousin hasn't come back from the hunting trip. Right. Well, he can look after himself. There could be a thousand explanations. Yeah, I realise that, but the girl is very upset. And having seen Lawson in the pub the other night, well, it's just possible he could do something stupid. So, could somebody please go and see if they can find him? Oh, it's his rest day, boss. I don't care. It's like a crisis centre over there. Excuse me, boss. Uh, PJ, I just checked with the commercial butchery in St David's, and guess what? They bought a deer two days ago. What, not a stag? No, well, but it was a farmed red deer minus the ear tags. And judging from the description of the person they bought it from, it sounds very much like Albie O'Connell. Albie. OK, I think we should have a look around, eh? Now, Mr. Morse Albie has ID'd this as a tag from one of his missing deer. Do you, do you want to comment on that? No. Do, do you want to comment on the fact that it was found on your land? No. <laughs> and you've got no idea how it got there? No. Did you sell a deer carcass two days ago to John Broad of the commercial butchery in St. David's? No. Sir, do you feel confident that Mr. Broad wouldn't identify you as the person who did? Albie. 
What do you drive? Hilux, why? The blue one? Yeah, sort of. Sort of. Well, you see, <laughs> Mr Broad remembers a similar vehicle. All right, look, what was I expected to do? I've seen his fences. They keep getting into my bloody clover. I mean, I'm feeding the bloody things. I deserve a return, don't I, for once? Right, so you're admitting to killing Mr Morse's deer, right? Well, they were in my land, Patrick. And that uh, you sold the deer to Mr Broad, you know, the butchers at St David's, yeah? Yeah. Ah. And what about the stag? Well, I don't know nothing about no stag. Oh, you're great on reindeer, aren't you? But what are you doing about the bastards who killed my dog, eh? Hey? Uh, we're still working on that, Albie. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> One law for the deer, and another for the dogs. So where's the gun now? It's locked up. That's something, I suppose. So you and your cousin had a fight at the hut, and then you left? Yes. What time was that? Oh, I don't know, about 10.30, 11 o'clock. What did you do then? I walked back to town. Jeez, it's about 14 k's. Yeah, tell me about it. So your cousin was all right when you left him? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Why hasn't he returned? <laughs> Listen, son, this isn't just about you, you know. Other people are concerned too, so snap out of it. Sorry, boss. Now, this hut's at Mount Horn. Yes. You know where that is? Oh, uh, general idea, yeah. All right, I suggest you take Lawson out there and make sure that his cousin's OK. I want to go too. I just want to see for myself. Fine. I've got nothing to hide. You are Craig, you can have him. Ben do it. No, he's not there. Was this like this before? Um, no. Looks like someone shot the place out. Guys. That's Craig's. Molly, Molly, don't touch it, don't touch it. Looks like he's bleeding pretty heavily. What do you reckon, Jack? Look familiar? 0.270 caliber. Yeah, they're the same ones we use. All right. We had, um, we had some pot shots and some cans over here. Right. Here, you don't believe it? Here. Hey, listen, hey, don't touch that. Crime scene will need that for evidence. Of what? Oh, come on, mate. You know the drill. We've got a bloke missing, possibly wounded, and you're the last person to see him. You know it's routine. He shot him, hasn't he? Molly, no one's saying that. Don't do that, Jack. Come on. Molly. Molly. Okay. It didn't mean anything. I meant something to me, all right? I wanted to kill him. I didn't shoot Craig. Let's get him out of here. Come he was, on, he was fine like when I left him. What are we doing here? We should be out there looking for him. This is making it worse. Oh, how saying. much worse can it be? I'm responsible for this. I may as well have used the gun myself. Let's get my car. Bolted. Hey, Jack. Craig? Craig Ryan. If you can hear us, call out, mate. Craig! Gun down. It's okay. I don't want to hurt you. Look what you did to me. It's okay. It's okay. It's cool. Craig, 
Don't shoot. He tried to kill me. Stay Stay back. Don't move, mate. Okay. Just put the gun down, mate. No, we're here now. He's not going to hurt you, okay? I want you to put the gun down. Put your hands in the air where we can see him, okay? Hey, Jack. Jack. What? Well, I wouldn't really call it an argument. He just sort of went quiet, you know. What happened then? He threw the bottle in the fire, then he picked up his gun and walked out of the hut. Did he threaten you? No, not exactly. Or did he point the gun at you or use it threateningly? No. So what happened next? I told you, he left. You didn't try to follow him? Well, what do you reckon? Leave him alone, that was my policy. So when were the shots fired? About... 20 minutes later. I went outside to see if he was out there and he started shooting at me. I don't know, I was lost. Who else would it be? Did you actually see him? No, I didn't see anything. It was dark. So it may not have been lost. <sighs> Who else wants to kill me? When were you actually hit, Mr Ryan? When I went back inside. Must have come right through the wall. I have to inform you that you are now officially under investigation in relation to the offence of reckless conduct endangering life. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, I didn't do it. Do you own a .270 Bruno rifle? Yes. Did you fire that rifle yesterday in the state forest near Mount Horn? Yes. Did you fire the rifle at Craig Ryan or at the hut in which Craig Ryan was sheltering? No, no like I told PJ, Detective Hasham, I took some pot shots at some cans uh, for target practice. Oh, Craig right. was there. Ryan has confirmed this. And you did not fire the weapon at any other time since then? No. Why did you leave the hut? Because I didn't want to be there anymore. Did you have the rifle with you? Yes. And what did you do then? I walked back to town and went to my room. So why did you run off? Today? Well, because I knew that if Craig was out there hurt or dying maybe, I could find him quicker than these blokes could. I had to, boss. All right. Interview suspended at uh, 15.28. Uh, you did tell him to stay put? Not in so many words, no. All right, Lawson. I believe you. Thousands wouldn't. You're not going to be charged at this stage, but you will go nowhere until this investigation is completed. Understood. Yes, ma'am. It wasn't Lawson. Who was it? Well, one thing. We know it was someone with a point two seven R. Jack, I'm so sorry. What for? I was scared you'd shot him. Only that. Good afternoon. Here we go. Any of you blokes out in the state forest last night? No, not me. I should be the one who's asking the questions. Like, why don't you do something about your mates? They nearly shot me. See anyone else out there? What, apart from your mates? No. Did they say anything to you? Yeah, bit of lip. I told them I'd go and hunt out on the other side. That way no accidents could happen. Some people aren't too worried just who they shoot at. What about on your way in and out? Uh, you see anyone else around? A couple of people on the road. That mad deer farmer was taking his horse somewhere. A horse? Well, he had one of them horse trailers. A float. I believe you were out in the state forest last night. Passing through, yeah. I was bringing the float back to Shortway. From? Snakebite Creek. I lent it to a friend so he could move his horse. Why? A man was shot out there last night. Not dead. No, fortunately. Mind if I take a look? Yeah, go ahead. So, coming back from snake bite would mean you'd have to pass through Mount Horn, wouldn't it? I think so, yeah. You, you see anyone else out there? Just those hunters I had a run-in with. That shooter's ute. Right. Anyone else? Yeah. 
L.B. O'Connell with a gun. Not near my place, though, thank goodness. Oh, thanks, Mr. Morse. No worries. Any news on my stag? Not as yet. Funny thing about that horse float. Didn't smell of horse. So, Albert, you're saying that you've never seen that .270 caliber rifle before, even though it was found in your laundry. Mr. O'Connell, was that the gun that you used to fire the shots into the hut at Mount Horn? You do realise if that bullet was three inches to the left, we'd be talking about murder now, Albie. And if those bullets came from that gun, we're going to find out. Yeah, well, they murdered my dog, didn't they? They? Let me get this straight. Are you saying that you think whoever was in that hut was responsible for killing your dog? Well, I've seen them. They were there. You saw who? The bastards who killed Ralph. The missing stag was in that horse float. Oh, you think that Moore stole his own animal? Look, $25,000 insurance money can be very attractive to someone in trouble, especially if he's even sold his own animal. And I've got an idea where that might be. Mounted on someone's wall. No, Cambo Downs. It's a big deer farm just past Snakebite. They've been buying up stock from smaller operators that are going bust. Well, oh, Morse was coming back from Snakebite last night. Mm -hmm. Could double his money, wouldn't be bad, would yeah, it? Yeah, I'd say he needs it. He's overcrowded the farm, he's got no local trade, he's got big dreams and no expertise. Good work. Thanks. Oh, anyway, it's just a theory. Well, that's a good one. We'll test it, eh? They don't know what's coming to them. They ain't seen nothing yet. Mr O'Connell, why do you think that whoever was in the hut was connected with the hunters? Because I've seen them. I've seen them drive there. Who did you actually see in the hut? I just told you. I've seen them there. So you just assumed that whoever was in the hut had killed your dog? Well, didn't they? No. What, what are you saying? I, I shot at the wrong man. Hello again. Hello. Got some good news. We found your stag. They told me you might be out here. Mate, what can I say? I'm sorry. I really thought you wanted to kill me. Not that I didn't give you reason to. Why'd you do it, mate? You knew that I loved it. It didn't mean anything. Well, that's supposed to make me feel better. That isn't what I meant. Listen, I understand how you feel. If I was the same, I probably would have done the same thing, but... Talk to her, mate. Even if you don't want to talk to me. She loves you. I'll see ya. <sighs> I thought we'd trust each other always, you know? I guess I can't do that now. Now, anyway. I didn't trust you either. I really thought you'd shot Craig. I think I didn't want to. I thought about it on the way back to town last night. How everything was so different. And I could have cut out my heart and not feel it. I just kept thinking how I wanted you two away from here. I understand. But then I thought about what that meant, and... <sighs> so we'll get over this.
other things. Why? It's not gonna work, Jack. And how can it? You're down here, I'm up there. I'll come, I'll come home more often, you can come here. This is always gonna be between us now. <laughs> Daddy, no, I mean, you gotta give it a chance. I forgive you, Molly. How can I forgive myself? This is gonna have changed everything, Jack. So they've both gone back then? Mm. No, I remember the first time my heart was broken. Mm, don't talk about it. Mm, you never recover. No. Nah. No, yep, you're scarred for life. Come on, give the poor bloke some hope. No, oh, on the other hand... Absolutely. There's plenty more, more fish in the sea. Especially <laughs> at your age. I mean, what are you, 19? Oh, don't worry, big guy. You've only got 70 years of heartache to go. No, oh, all right, all right. I'm not even going to ask who's having the venison because all the hunters have up and left on me and I've over-ordered, so you're all just going to have to have it. What's the matter? I'm afraid you're going to have to freeze it. That venison is wanted. We have to take it in. What? Anyone for fish and chips? <laughs> what? 